guys in this video we will be discussing about a slightly different topic about the nifty so uh, what we are doing is we are trying to predict the nifty range for the following next week or the following next month so this is very useful in the options trading as we, if we can predict the range within the nifty lies for the following next week or next month we can sell the strikes above that range so that we get to collect the premium of the strikes or we can do the iron condor which is a hedged strategy so it is very useful uh, in order to find the range rather than uh, seeing the chart and seeing the resistance and support look this makes very sense because we are taking the last one year data and we are calculating the standard deviation of it and from that we are predicting the range now this is more reliable like there is probability for that so there is 68% chance that the nifty lies within one standard deviation and 95% chance that there is nifty lies within this there is 95% chance so okay let's um, I have written a program in the python in order to do the same thing like we will download the last one year data of the nifty from that we are uh, we gonna predict the range within the nifty most likely to trade we will be giving the input which is the present value of the nifty from that we are going to uh, predict the following range now the exact same thing can be done in the excel when you download you get the csv file when you open in the excel you can do the exact same thing which i have done in the program now why i have chosen program is because as month progress in every month you need to download a different csv file because you need to include the last month for that uh, do uh, doing the changes in the access file becomes a tedious task that's why i have chosen the program so that i can change the occasion of the csv file and the exact same thing happens so this is more um, happens very quickly this is no uh, in excel it is like more tedious work i need to do after every one month here I can just download and replace the location of the new file. What you need to do is go to the Google and type NSC historical data and click on the first link. Here you can select the Nifty 50 or Nifty Bank. Uh, you can choose anything. I'm choosing Nifty 50. And select the last one year. 20. I'm going to select it. Uh, in one year you, you have approximately 252 days trading days. I'm, I'm talking about get click on data and download this csv file right after you download the csv file look uh, i have written this program in the google collab because in the, my local system i don't have numpy or in my local system i don't have python installed that's why i have used the google collab so you can you will have all the libraries needed in the google collab so these are the libraries which i'm using i have imported them and I wrote a function in order to do the task which I want. So this is a function which takes in the present value of the nifty and gives out to you the range in which the nifty is most likely to trade. Uh, like briefly I will explain. Now we will be reading the CSV file. The file. This is a file which I have downloaded. And after that what we will do is we will calculate the log returns. You, if you know about the daily return, daily return is nothing but the today's closing price minus yesterday's closing price divided by the yesterday's closing price. That is the daily return. So we will be finding the log return, which is nothing but the natural log of today's closing price divided by the yesterday's closing price. Now the log returns are more uh, reliable in the sense we can add them. They are time additive, the log returns are. That's why we are choosing the log return and we are calculating the standard deviation. Now this calculate the standard deviation for all the columns like there are so many columns there are so many columns in this and we only need the standard deviation of one column which is a log written if you see this is the csv file here the, these are the closing prices so we just need the 
first we need to calculate the log return of this let's let's calculate let's do side by side because we can understand what's happening so what you do is this is the natural log of today's closing price divided by yesterday's closing price now this is a log return so you can drag this to the entire column these are the log returns right you have calculated the log returns from this log return like here where this this particular st statement does that and after that you are calculating the standard deviation of these log returns now what happens in this program is that it calculates the log returns for all these and calculates the standard deviation of all these so we, we just want the log return of these what we can do is uh, we can call the standard dev function of the following We will calculate the standard deviation of this following column, which is nothing but the log return, log daily return. Now this is a standard deviation. If you multiply with this hundred, you will get the you will get the daily volatility. So this is the daily volatility. Basically, this particular statement does that, and we only need the standard deviation of the log return. So we, in the DST DEV, we are getting the only standard deviation of the log return. Okay, and after that, you need to enter the time to expiry, and these are the calculations for the first standard deviation, second standard deviation, third standard deviation, and those all. And I have written the print statements in order to print those let's run the program so the present value is um, 11,762 present value is 11,762 11,762 and the number of days to expiry look these are the number of trading days monday for the following next thursday monday tuesday wednesday thursday so four days are there for expiry and we so these are the there is look these values are based on standard norm, normal deviation. There is 68% chance that Nifty is most likely to trade between 11,253 to 12,270. So with 68% probability, we can say that Nifty is, will trade or most likely to trade. This is better word. Most likely to trade between these values and 98-95% chance that between these values, 10,745 to 12,700. So if we choose this one, and we can sell the strikes like we, we can do the iron cor condor look what uh, what does the range the range was 12,270 i guess uh, 270 so you can sell a strike which is a hundred point above like you can choose 12,400 to be safe side we can sell this and 11,253 253 so we can sell the strike which is 100 below than that sell we can sell this one yes we should sell this one we should sell the call right and in order to protect them let's buy let's buy them you know this is a hedged strategy and yes uh, let's do some uh, bigger quantity so that you will get some meaningful profit so okay the maximum profit is this one and the capital required is this one right we are getting this safely there is 68 pro percent probability that we will get this profit so playing safe is very important because protecting capital is very important 
So this is a standard deviation. Yeah, there is slightly change because like I, I might have excluded some value. Almost the same. 2.04, 2.16, no problem. So this is how you can uh, calculate the range and you can sell the strikes above that. Now I have included to buy also because this is a hedge strategy. If it goes wrong, this is the maximum loss.